Here is a Vornado VN. This is the Vornado 280V. And this is one of the good old ones made in the USA. 1.6 amps. It's an awful lot of power. I'm pretty sure this is a PSC motor. It's got the old square motor in there, which is a good one. It's all plastic. It's got the three position stand. Oops, almost took out the camera. This is probably a 90s, maybe early 2000s product somewhere in there. I don't think there's a date code on here. I suspect the serial number can be decoded. Oh, there we go. 96 P7, so maybe 1996. That seems pretty likely to me. I believe that serial number can be decoded to reveal a date. I just don't know how to do that. I'm sure somebody out there will know. So this is like a true good quality Vornado product. The stuff they make today just isn't the same. These run for years and years and years and years and years. They're pretty quiet, they're powerful, very well made, good quality stuff. It's a different story today. Now you just pay for a, a fancy name on a otherwise pretty average product. So these fiends allegedly circulate all the air in the room and all this and whatever. And uh, this is another one of those fiends I'm interested to finally use in a larger area just to see how it really performs. Because previously I would always test fiends just in the studio and there was so much junk in there you could never really tell how the fan was moving here and couldn't tell how far the air was moving and whatnot. So in the living room here we'll be able to get a good idea of how well it moves the air around the room and how far it moves the air etc. So it doesn't have the ability to go flat. It goes like this or like that or all the way back like that. So um, I'll start with it like this and maybe I can prop it up a little bit so that I can keep the airstream low enough to be able to feel from across the room. Well, that was a good attempt, but it didn't work. All right, let's just turn it on and see what happens. So we'll start out on low. And as you can, or rather as you can't hear, it's very quiet. It moves a pretty good amount of air for the noise level. It's really quite, quite satisfactory noise level. I'm going to go across the room here. Let's see if I feel anything. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I do. It's not a super strong breeze. But I definitely do feel air moving on the other side of the room. Very, very gentle, but it is detectable. That's better than I was expecting. Alright, let's bump it up to medium. Still pretty quiet. Actually, it's a bit out of balance. Not bad, just ever so slightly. I have more of these older models somewhere. They might still be at Starge. I gotta get over there and grab the rest of the fans. I really need the fans, or more so the air conditioners, the last couple of days. It's not cool enough at night. It's still 77 degrees right now with high humidity, and it's almost 10 o'clock at night. I was holding off on putting the air conditioners on just because it's running up the light bill, but. After this video, I'm going to turn them on. This is ridiculous. 
All right, so this is on medium now. It's moving a strong breeze. I'll go back across the room. There's definitely air moving over here. It's not like crazy. It's detectable. But that's about all that I would give it. Now well, let's try the high. And now it's getting a little noisy. But the airstream is really quite impressive. It's very, very strong. Yeah, that's very powerful. the other side of the room, I can feel the air coming down the wall, but it's not like an impressive amount of air. It is pushing the cylinder pin around, so it's doing something. I'm going to move it onto the floor, put it over here where that so I can feel how far away it moves the ear. I might leave this in here because it's a lot quieter than the than the box fan is. And the angle might be just right for sitting on the couch. All right, now, let's see what we've got here. There's air. Definitely air moving. You can see the air moving the plant here. But it's not anything crazy. It, it's, the airstream kind of deteriorates pretty quickly. And for the size and the noise level, it's a lot of air. Definitely a pretty good performance. But I don't think that it moves air any better than a box fan does or something else. Let's train on the bow. Now the air is detectable here, but it's very, very gentle. But it's almost inaudible. Let's see here. Let me put this over to the couch. Will this work in here if I was sitting here on the couch? It would. Hmm. Well, maybe I'll use this here for a while. It would be better if it was angled down a little bit more. Oh, someone's getting dominoes. Stupid blurry screen. Uh, I'm gonna get like a block of wood or something to prop this up on the back. Perfect. All right, I think I'm going to change out the the box fan for this for a little while. And I could actually move it back closer to the wall. Yeah, that's nice. It moves a good amount of air. It's definitely quieter than the box fan. All right, that works. So we'll use this uh, we'll use this tornado here in the living room for a while and see how this works out. 